face. No, 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 you just have to move for your arm. No, just like. <laughs> Han Hego asks, what is your favorite pizza topping? Pepperoni, always. I'm a simple lass, basic bitch, but pepperoni. Thank you. 30 people around you, you can't feel scared. Like in the film, there's all these tunnel scenes and it's really eerie, but really there's like crew eating crisps, like just off camera. It's just not that scary. Come in to Game of Thrones on season four, mm -hmm. playing a pretty major character. He's somewhat of an anti-hero. Did you research... What does anti-hero mean exactly? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it means he doesn't wear deodorant. <laughs> okay, stop panicking. It, it's not permanent, it's just eyeshadow. Looks pretty cool though, huh? What do you think? Green one's definitely better. I really wanted to try dark blue, but unfortunately I don't have enough eyebrows right now. I'll try it. What do you have to say to all the Santa haters out there? Uh, haters to the left, please. <laughs> no, I'm, no, I think Sans is an awesome character. And I think haters should, uh, haters should step aside, okay? Cause she Arriving into a bunch of British actors. You guys were really friendly. and um, That's just fake. Well, you guys were good at it. Yeah. You can tell when people are fake here, mm -hmm. but you couldn't tell that you guys were so fake. I know that now. Who was your favorite character? It's just the girls. We need a little. We need Only the girls. girls. Yeah. Peter Dinklage, Richard Martin, Dan Weiss, John Bradley, George R. R. Martin. I would like to thank my dog sitter, whose name is Kitty, for taking care of my dog Kevin back in New York. While I'm here, I won. Yeah. Well, Lena, speaking of your... That's American oh, actress, no. though. <laughs> huh? What? That's American. That's American actress. That's a different story. I learned that quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever ask for a latte and it arrived on set of Game of Thrones? <laughs> yes. I don't want a fucking latte. I don't want a fucking latte. Why is that card fighter? Uh, <laughs> oh, what the fuck is that, Starbucks? Uh. <laughs> wow, I just lost the entire country of North Ireland. <laughs> it's, I, I haven't read the books that it's based on, and George Martin, our, our author, is probably going to kill my character soon because I've mentioned that. Um, but I, I bec now I can't read them now because we... You know, our TV show is my day job, but uh, they, I, I started to read it, and I got confused, so... George R. 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 Martin. Is that, is that the guy? The guy who created the whole thing. Yeah. 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 I added a couple more R's in there. Remember your first audience? Um, well, we, my brother and I would do... Um, now, boy. We would uh, invite all the octogenarians in the neighborhood um, down into our New Jersey basement. Yeah, and, that's illegal now. Yeah, but it used I to know. Be, yeah. Used to be fine, but you did not need to pass some laws against that. They're still down there. They're still down there. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, man. Uh, no, we, and we, we would just, my parents were very, very, uh, they gave us a lot of permission and artistically. We would blare, like the Who's, Quadrophenia, mm -hmm. and uh, Tommy, all those great rock albums of the 70s um, and put on puppet shows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell our viewers that yesterday when I was with you at the BBC party, yeah. you said a hello to one of my good friends, Jace. And then he said to me, well, now since you got her to do that, see if she'll marry me. So I'm now, I guess, proposing for him on camera. What do you have to say about this? Or maybe a date. 
Um, well, I'll, I'll have to think about that. He's in St. Louis. Have you ever been to St. Louis? I've never been to St. Louis, no. Well, it's a very fun city, and we take you around to a lot of really good restaurants. So you are selling it pretty well to me. And we have the St. Louis Cardinals, the world champs, so, you know. Indeed, who are very successful, I heard, that they just did very well yesterday. You shot most of... Uh... I would... I could see myself fighting... Uh, I don't know, Ronda Rousey, just for fun, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I always knew it was going to be a triumph. George R. Martin meets Chris Martin. What could go wrong? Game of what now? Hey, hey, hey! I'm a Rastafarian, Targaryen. I got some dragons and they're all very scary. And been here and there and then I've been everywhere again. Rastafarian, Targaryen. Call me the nearest Targaryen when you wanna reach me. And if you feel the love, then you can call me Kali. See, got so many names. I'm Queen of the Andals, Queen of the Marine. Yeah, you can kiss me sandals. There are many for both of us, I feel. Yeah, every every day is a new challenge. challenge. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Um, I don't know, mine's probably... Uh, there's, there's a sequence this season which I can't probably talk about, but mm. there's a really challenging sequence this season that was hard to do. And other than that, it's the fight scenes, probably. Those are always tough. Yeah, this bit, I mean, season one was, was it had a number of challenging scenes, which I'm sure I don't need to <laughs> explain any further detail. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hi. Oh, Alicia, yeah, I demand yeah, a fight yeah, for yeah. your honor. Oh, yeah, this, this happens. What is going on? It, just kind of, it happens quite a lot. You just sort of ignore them. Don't worry about it. It's all right. I demand a fight for your honor, Khaleesi. Would any man in this audience face me in the fighting pits? <laughs> Pretend that they're not even here. It's it, fine. It, that's going to be different. I shall face you in the fighting uh... pits. <laughs> Do you want really to you, my queen, to see me strike down this man and bring this uh, honor to this house? Uh, me the honor of striking this, this man down. down the they're really, oh, just you know, yeah. We can just ignore them. We can ignore. Yeah, I don't think yeah, we yeah. can ignore. I demand to fight for okay. you, Khaleesi. Okay. I shall fight for you, Khaleesi. Okay. <laughs> yes, you can fight for my honor. Thank you. Go yeah, don't fight outside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Really? Yeah, really. That's pretty much it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Oh, there's actually going to be oh. a. Holla! Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's. <laughs> it's kind of a slap fight. Yeah. Um... yeah. Brilliant. Slap it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, well, you can kill him now. Wait, what? Kill me? <laughs> kill me? Yeah, I now command you to kill him. Did you, did you say kill him? Yeah. I, I just wanted to, like, fight for your honor. I didn't... <laughs> I don't want to kill anybody. You sure? I... I can, can I kill him outside? That... Yeah, can we... Yeah, I think you could yeah. kill him outside. Okay, yeah. go on then, yeah, outside. Yeah, kill him outside. Thank yes. you. Uh, okay, thanks, guys. Some jello. <laughs> Maybe to take them to Home Depot and get some duct tape, get some of that lower back hair removed. Love it, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm back. very sorry about that. I had no. Does anyone else want to fight That's before we go? <laughs> no. Okay. Very good. Well, it's very good to see Quite you. Congratulations time. on this. Thank big you so much. Permanent Genesis Ovies and IMAX and theaters on Wednesday. <laughs> what do you wear? That's uh, for me to know and you to find out. Well, it's meant to be a secret. It's called egg language. And you put an egg before every vowel. So, I love you would be egg, I like you, veggie, egg, you, egg, you. We, we can talk away like that. People don't quite understand. People pick it up, though. I've been working with Maisie Williams quite a bit, and she's got it to a T now. She, she can understand it all. Tell a friend that you like that boyfriend. <laughs> you don't, bitch. <laughs> no. You don't even know her. Girl, 
No! <laughs> my best friend talks shit about me behind my back. What should I do? Uh, you should take the word best out of that. And, and then change friend to acquaintance. Yeah. <laughs> and you're done. Oh, call Drogo, definitely. Well, if Mr. Benioff is playing Carl Drago, I'll play Daenerys Targaryen. <laughs> picture, picture it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it must have been from judging by the, the fashion and the sort of you know, look of the picture, it was from 1970. <laughs> and uh, in the picture, it was a group of elderly men um, all holding harmonicas. <laughs> in the middle, there's a gentleman who is, shares my condition. He is a, a dwarf and uh, he has, uh, he's just sitting there smiling without a harmonica, <laughs> but with like astroturf pants. <laughs> <laughs> and a big, like, uh, like a dandy, a dandy ascot. And he's... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, well, that's an interesting picture. And then I read the attached letter, and it's typed. So that's a little creepy, but... <laughs> um, and it says, I, my father was a photographer, and I was going through his old photographs, and I came across this one. So I thought I would send it <laughs> and realized it could be in the center, it could be no one else but the Game of Thrones Peter Dinklage. <laughs> so if you do the math, I'm either immortal <laughs> or <laughs> Which some of us are, mm, no, um, or <laughs> I was one when this picture was taken. Hi, Hi I'm Guide We can do this, guys. We can do this. And you're, you're watching TV Guide magazine. Guide magazine. Dova Geddes. That's impressive. That's very impressive. I know my lines. <laughs> Very, very tired. And scary also. Those um, White Walkers are scary. Are they scary when you're just hanging out on the set? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> see, they're not CGI or anything. They're kind of, that's, that, as you see them on the show, is as they are on set. So having lunch with them in the cast tent is really bizarre. <laughs> you, one thing that doesn't seem fair or mm. exciting for you is there's a, a lot of incredible locations for the show. <laughs> uh, Croatia, uh, Spain this year. Mm -hmm. um, you have not been, you're, your part isn't in the nice places. No. Yeah. No. So you've been, you've spent a lot of time in Belfast? A lot of time in yeah. Belfast. Yeah. And what would you, to, to the uh, sort of, what would you say to the traveler going to Belfast or the tourist going to Belfast? It's wonderful for, for two or three days. Gotcha. And you've been there for years. Five years. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they like to play, I, I swear it's a joke that they play on tourists and um, well, well, tell me what it is, because in case I go there. Yeah, no, no, seriously, for everyone, I'm giving away that joke here, but they, they, have, um, they have this delicacy that's like, it's, it's shark, and it's, uh, they bury it, they catch the shark and they bury it underground, they let it rot. But before they let it rot, they all stand around and urinate on it. And then they leave it there for about three months, and they dig it up, and they serve it to wandering film crews and the like, <laughs> and... As you're eating it, they tell you what's, uh, what's happened to this shark. What the...? And I'm... they're laughing, and they're not eating it. <laughs> <laughs> that so, should yeah. be the first sign that they're not eating it, that yeah. maybe you shouldn't dig it. Do you know it. what it tastes like? No. Pissed on shark. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, God, no, I have to be careful what I say, because when I, you know, it's... <laughs> oh, I wouldn't worry about people from Belfast. It's... A girl came up to me in a bar the other day and said, you look exactly like Jon Snow. And I was like, well, actually, I, I am. And she said, you know, he's much taller Smooth. than you. <laughs> he's much taller than you. Like, OK, you know what? I lied. I'm not. I'm not Jon Snow. And they, they built the Titanic, which is a ship that sunk on its maiden voyage. Yeah. And now they have Game of Thrones, the most depressing TV show in history. <laughs> so it's, it's a wonderful, yeah. depressing tourist group. Who is seeing John Bradley's face <laughs> slowly freezing? 
slowly <laughs> turning oh into a goodness. block of light. It was hilarious. It was hilarious. They kept the camera rolling just to watch it for a while. <laughs> That's really mean, but it was really mean. It's like he's got icicles really on his skull. There are so many extras in this show. Um, I, recently, I read that when they started filming in Spain, like 85,000 people signed up to be extras. Are your, in, in your Night's Watch scenes, is it the same group of extras all the time? Yeah. It yeah. is? Yeah. They're a great bunch. They've got a Facebook group and everything. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. They call themselves the real Night's Watch. Okay, got um, it. Yeah. Hi. Hey. Oh,